Hey guys, it's Ava Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Can't blame me for trying. You know I'll be lying, saying you're the one. Ooh, ooh. That could finally fix me. Looking at my history, I'm bad in love. Got it. I am a ginormous Ulta haul. When do I not go to Ulta and waste my money? So I recently just spent way too much money at Ulta, like. $400? $450? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna just sh go through this box and show y'all what I got. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, first thing I got is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And I've been wanting this palette for the longest. <sighs> I used it today and it's really messy, so ignore that. But that's what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Yeah, um, I used it today. My best friend Renee did this look because we were like messing around with it. I did something last night and it was really cute. So, um, yeah, I really like this palette. It was only like 20 bucks, I think. And the eyeshadows are like pretty good for $20. Like they're very easy to work with. So I just got some simple um, cleansing wipes. I think these are the ones that are like have exfoliants on them so yeah I just got these I got two of these I already used one but these are the yes to coconut hydrating and restoring masks since I'm using my epiduo forte my skin has been drier than the Sahara desert I think that's a desert I don't know but yeah so I really just wanted to get a couple hydrating face masks this one burned so bad like really really bad um, when I used it, because I had got to, I used it before my boyfriend came over, like, the night before, and it was no bueno. Um, I got two more of the Real Techniques sponges, you know, the drill. I like to switch these out at least once every two weeks, because they do carry lots of bacteri bacteria, and I do have acne-prone skin, so if you do... I recommend switching them at least once every two weeks, but if you're broke, once a month at least. I got the Tarte High Performance Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust Eyeshadow Palette. I am so hyped about this. Um, it was so cute. This was like a last minute buy. Like, I just took it out of the box. But look how beautiful the packaging is. Like, it looks like oh, one of their like blushes, but like it's gigantic. So it's literally brand new. Hey guys, nice setup. I know, look at that. Oh yeah, room tour coming soon. But it's so cute. It's like a highlighter for the face or eyes and then just all the shades. Sorry guys, it's really bad lighting because it's like my window's closed, but whatever. This is so beautiful. This was like $40, I think, like 38, I think. It was really affordable and I'm really excited about this purchase and I cannot wait to use this. The packaging is just beyond beautiful. Like, I, I'm obsessed. Speaking of palettes, I got another, or not another, another palette, I guess. I got the Maybelline New York Lemonade Craze Palette in the shade 100, I guess. Um, It gives you, like, the three looks, like, that everyone does. But I mainly got this for the yellow and the pink. Like, look at that. And then this one's really pretty. I swatched this already. This one's pretty. This one's pretty. Like, I love this one. These are just like really pretty shades. Berry Ice and Strawberry Lemonade are beautiful. Looking at it, like I love all of the colors so much. So I cannot wait to use this. That's just what it looks like. And it's really beautiful. It was like 15 bucks. Really good for a drugstore palette. I really got a lot of drugstore stuff, but I also got like a lot of high-end things in this haul. Um, because I want to do a back to school like drugstore look and then a back to school like high end look. I got lots of foundations. I think I got like six foundations. Yeah, I know. Why do you need six foundations? I don't, but why not? So I really, I heard such good things about the Estee Lauder double wear. Um, this was 50 bucks. Yeah, I know. I'm in the shade 1W1 Bone. I guessed my shade. I mean, I'm wearing it today and it looks like it matches pretty well, but yeah, it's really, it's really tiny. Like, no one says how freaking tiny this is. Like, 
so yeah one's gonna be one bone and it has one flow down so it's like pretty standard um i this is my first time wearing it it was like weird not really full coverage like to my liking i guess so on top of this i had the maybelline new york superstay foundation which i also just got i got this in the shade 118 light beige it's really good um these mixed together look pretty good this one is 50 this one's 11.99 so i definitely like this one it looks so good alone um yeah so these are the first two foundations i got i just got another one of my mac studio fix fluid um foundations i'm in the shade nw20 and it just looks like this it's i love the smell of this foundation like you can never go wrong with mac studio fix fluid like it's such an og foundation i have been using this since like seventh grade like it's really good i got the maybelline matte and poreless guys i never can twist the lid like back onto the front like right this is the shade 120 classic ivory this is like my perfect shade um i used to be 115 that's like my winter and fall shade but yeah, this is like such a good foundation. It's like $7.99. I got another one of my It's CC creams. This is in the shade Light. Yeah, this is just like a brand new one. Like never been used. Like I love this product. It's so good. It just looks so nice on your skin. If you have like dry skin, since this has SPF 50 plus, it's very like shiny and brightening and moisturizing. So I definitely like this. Um, even if you have oily skin, it's great. But it is a full coverage cream and it has anti-aging hydrating serum. So we love that. And the last foundation I got is the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F6, which looks a little dark. Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't. But yeah, that's just what it looks like. It's very yellow toned, but I'm very yellow toned. So I actually really like that. You get a lot of product for like, I don't even know how much this was. It was super cheap. I think it was like $10 or less. It's full coverage. Like it's full coverage. So I'm going to do a review on this and the concealer that I got to go with it. Speaking of the concealer, I got two shades. I got C7 and C6. I think C6 is more of my shade because I opened C7 and it's a little dark. I mean, it's like it's usable, like it's my actual like skin tone I feel like, but this one is more yellow toned and it's a little lighter so it could like highlight better. See, I just got two of these and these are like $6.99 or six bucks, so they're super cheap. Guys, Makeup Revolution is like such a good brand. I got their setting spray, I love this setting spray. I'm going out for my mom's. That really burned my eye, oh my God. I'm going out for my mom's birthday dinner tonight, so. That's what kind of why I have like a crazy makeup on too. But um, yeah, this is so good. This is their Oil Pro Fix setting spray. I love this stuff. I've gone through like seven bottles of it, like actually. Next, I got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. Everyone knows this, it's so good. You can put it on your waterline, which I did today. You can use it as a base or whatever. I really like it, it's really good. It's in the shade Milk duh i got guys this is like yeah i got a mario badescu lavender i don't know if i put this in my last ulta haul or not but if i didn't here it is um yeah i really like this i'm actually gonna go back to ulta and get like 70 more you know this is really good it smells really good yeah i love it it's great i also got the elf aqua mist um aqua primer mist it's really good it sprays like this. It just feels so refreshing. Like, I really just love it. The packaging is, like, so sleek. I love the blue color. It's really, like, long but, like, skinny, which we love. So, um, the paper went to the back. But, yeah, I just got that. And it was, like, 8 bucks. I have one of these in my makeup somewhere, but... Wow, my hair has like no volume. But all my makeup is like in a drawer somewhere. So, or in a box. So I just got another one of these so I can use this until my vanity gets built. It's just the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer in clear. And it's very like moisturizing. I love it. It has vitamins A, C, and E. My 
I'm really obsessed with the NYX Do Me Honey Do Me Up primer. It's very like sticky, not sticky, but like slimy, I would say. It's like kind of a dupe for like the gold flake primer. So I just got two of them. They're like 17 bucks, but they're so good. Like, yeah, I got two of them. Okay, I got a few things from Essence. Essence is like such a good cheap brand. I got this Lip Shine Wet Gloss in Happiness in a Bottle. I have so many of these, but I have been wanting this one in particular for so long. It's just such a pretty shade, like really pretty like I love it guys my skin is my skin is gross so like ignore that I got the essence the false lashes mascara extreme volume and curl um I used this once yesterday for the first time and it's so good like it's such a good mascara highly recommend it's like four or five dollars like it's amazing it's like drugstore obviously I also got the essence super fine tip like eyeliner which it's like really black it's really nice i have not tried this yet because i just got it like two days ago but it's in one deep black so and it looks really good okay guys i'm sorry this isn't in the packaging but i literally like just got this it's really ghetto i know like because i used it because i needed it for my sister's senior pictures because i did her makeup for that but yeah um i just got the covergirl outlast all day powder in 810 fair to light um, she used this powder and she said that it kept her skin not oily. Um, it's kind of dark for like a light color, like light to fair or fair to light. Like it's pretty dark, but CoverGirl is such a good, like trusted brand. Like you can get anything from there and like they'll never screw you over. I also got the Fit Me powder in, or this is the loose finishing powder in Fair Light shade 10. This is like my perfect shade and it just like looks like that it's like a banana powder almost to be honest but yeah this is like 10 bucks and it's really good really affordable and the last two things that i got in this ulta haul are i got two two faced lipsticks um these are the natural nudes intense color coconut butter lipsticks i love these um i got strip tees and birthday suit I'm gonna swatch these for you because they are so beautiful like you can't just not swatch them so this is strip strip search did I say birthday suit I don't know this is strip search it's so beautiful the packaging is just like so pretty look at you fall look at you falling and this one is in birthday suit this is such like a pretty, this is like my favorite one. Birthday suit is like really my favorite one. So it just looks like that. It's so pretty. So that was my ginormous Ulta haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like Ulta hauls, I tend to spend most of my time there. I'm a diamond member. And to become a diamond member, you have to become a platinum member. So you have to spend like $500 in one year. And then to become a diamond member, you have to spend $1,200 in one year. So I basically spent like two grand this year on makeup because I, I just became a diamond member. So yeah, I would say I have a problem, but we're not going to talk about it. It's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that post notifications bell to get notified every time I go live, every time I post a video, every time I do something else on my YouTube channel. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye my little avocados. Mm -hmm.